Lieutenant Commander Cordova here. Welcome to the 242nd Suicide Kings, pilot. I've heard from unofficial channels that the rebels have launched a surprise attack in the Epsilon Pegasi system. Details at this point are sketchy below file level clearance, and command is in no hurry to fill us in. Petrarch says he'll brief the Aquitaine when we reach Capella. The GTA formed the Suicide Kings in the Great War, when the old Valkyrie fighter went into service after the Shivan attack on Ross 128. The 242nd was stationed on the Galatea back then, and our first mission was the capture of Lieutenant Alexander McCarthy. We all studied the McCarthy trials in school, pilot. We're part of history here, though the Galatea is long gone, and the Valkyrie has since been retired. The Perseus is the next generation interceptor, the fastest fighter in the GTVA. Our primary combat role is charging bombers and chasing down warheads. We're also assigned to surgical strikes against bigger warships. We're not called the Suicide Kings for nothing, pilot. We earn that name on every mission. For that reason, I suggest you review the Perseus training modules as soon as possible. There you'll learn how to target bombs and turrets, and everything else you need to serve in an intercept squadron. You are now authorized to use the GTM 43A Stiletto II missile, designed to incapacitate subsystems. The 43A improves on the original Stiletto design by modifying its guidance systems and disruptor charge. The Stiletto also boasts a more powerful propulsion system, increasing its speed and effective range. Welcome to Training Simulator Module TSM-122X, Advanced Qualification for the Perseus Intercept Fighter. This module has been designed to acquaint pilots with targeting bombs, turrets, and subsystems. TSM units are approved for use as part of the GTVA Combat Training Program or as a review for qualified pilots. The TSM series is not intended as a substitute for actual field training. Welcome to Module TSM-122X, pilot. Don't touch the controls until you are told to do so. You will fail this section if you do not follow instructions carefully. The most significant role of the Perseus Interceptor fighter is destroying enemy bombers and their warheads. For this exercise, we need a target. Let's bring in a Dimos class Corvette. Remember the escort list? It's on the right-hand side of your HUD. Use the escort targeting control to select the Dimos. Good. Now, let's make this interesting. Here comes a wing of Shivan Seraphim bombers. Don't be afraid. This is only a training simulator. Just observe the action for now. As the Seraphim bombers approach the Dimos, they launch their ordnance. Use the bomb targeting control to acquire the Shivan warheads. If there are no warheads in flight, this control will select the nearest bomber. The bomb will appear in your target view until it detonates. Observe that as the bomb impacts the hull of the Dimos, the name of the Corvette flashes in your escort monitor. That's how you know a ship on your escort list is taking damage. Bombs also appear as amber blips on your radar. Let's cover one more targeting control. The target's attacker function enables you to select the enemy ship attacking your target. This is especially useful in defensive or escort missions. First, select the vessel you have been ordered to defend. Cycle through friendly targets or use the escort targeting control. Very good. Now, use the target's attacker control to acquire the nearest hostile currently attacking your target. That would be the Seraphim. Now, let's see how well you do in a combat situation. To make things fair, we'll restore the Dimos to full strength. Before we unleash the bombers, here are a few more pointers. First, locate the bomb by sensors or by sight. You'll destroy the bombs more efficiently if you can rely on visual contact. But sometimes, you'll need to use the bomb targeting control if you get disoriented. 
It only takes one or two hits to destroy a bomb. And most warheads are generally slower than your intercept fighter. But don't get too close. The shockwave could damage your hull or knock out your subsystems. Obviously, the best tactic is to destroy the bombers before they launch their ordnance. An intercept fighter is built for speed so that you can engage multiple bomber waves across the field of engagement. Now, intercept and destroy the Seraphim bombers before they neutralize the Corvette. Excellent work, pilot. You repelled the bomber attack and protected the Dimos. Here's another tip. Using the messaging window, you can order your squad mates to protect a target. Pilots assigned to protect a target will help you intercept bombs launched at the target. Chasing bombs is a lot easier when you work together as a team. For the next phase of this simulation, let's restore the Dimos to full strength. We'll also change the vessel's IFF status from friendly to hostile. Target the Corvette. Good. As a fighter, you have minimal chance of destroying a large ship on your own. Bombs and beam cannons are much more effective, but these weapons are too big to mount on a fighter. However, the speed and maneuverability of the fighter make it ideal for surgical strikes against the turrets and subsystems of larger ships. Use the turret targeting control to cycle through the turrets of the ship. Observe how the turret is outlined by a large square. The target view will display the type of turret and its current integrity. If the targeted object is not in view, it will be marked by a diamond. Excellent! Once you destroy a turret, your sensors will automatically target the next turret in order of priority. Larger warships have dozens of firing points, and in combat situations, you might not have time to cycle through all the turrets to find the one that is firing at you. You have an attacker targeting control that will select the nearest hostile firing on your ship. If the attacker is a warship, the turret firing on you will be targeted. This control can help you prioritize the enemies that pose the greatest danger to your fighter. Let's try it now. The Dimos will begin firing on you with one or more of its turrets. Use your attacker targeting control to identify the turret firing on you. Now, destroy the turret. Feel free to use guns and missiles. Note that both heat-seeking and aspect-seeking missiles will home in on subsystems once they acquire lock. Good. Now let's see how you do against multiple turrets.
Let's end this session with a look at targeting subsystems. By pressing the subsystem targeting control repeatedly, you can cycle through the subsystems of your target. A subsystem appears on your HUD outlined by a large square. If the targeted system is not in view, it will be marked by a diamond. Now, target the sensors on the Corvette. Nice work! Now select the Akaton Subsystem Disruptor Gun, or SDG, as your primary weapon. The Akaton SDG is an energy weapon developed by the Vasudans. The Akaton destroys the subsystems of a target, doing only minimal damage to the target's hull. Using the Akaton SDG, destroy the sensors of the Dymos Corvette. Good. Note that you can also order your squad mates to destroy the subsystems of your target. In the messaging window, select the disabled command to take out the engines. The disarm command will order the pilots to destroy your target's weapon subsystem. Well done. This concludes module TSM-122X. Engage your subspace drive to end the simulation. Well done, pilot. You have successfully completed TSM-122X, Advanced Qualification for the Perseus Intercept Fighter. Good luck with your upcoming assignment.